Hunter. Dude, I was so excited to start this YouTube channel and I did not think this is what our first video was gonna be about. I just was in this Facebook group, saw a bunch of pictures of people crashing drones, videos of Mavic 2 fails, and mistakes beginner drone pilots are making across the board. So I figured the first video we do is the top six mistakes that beginner drone pilots make before even taking off. Wanna know the best part? I even came up with a name for it. It's called the Crash Course. Let's get into it. There are some things you don't want to learn by trial and error. Learning how to fly a drone is one of them. In this video, we'll take a look at what not to do with your drone and how to avoid some of the costly mistakes that your fellow drone pilots have made for you. That ready to fly sticker that's on the box of your new DJI drone should not be taken literally. Here's what to watch out for when launching your drone for the first time and some of the best practices that can be implemented before you power up your system. Let's start with a super common mistake, forgetting to remove the gimbal cover and the stickers that come on your drone, potentially covering up some of the most important sensors you'll need to fly. Look, I'm with you. When I first got my Mavic 2 Pro, I was looking at that plastic bubble thing covering the camera and was like, does it stay or does it go? Just to clear the air, it will obstruct your gimbal movement if you keep it on, and it's strictly for protection in travel mode. Mistake number two that I see all the time is not updating the firmware prior to takeoff. So now that your unboxing therapy is done, you'll need to ensure your firmware is up to date. DJI is constantly updating their firmware with bug fixes and new upgrades, so flying in an outdated version right out of the box could result in crashes and unexpected flyaways. Now, I'm not saying your drone will show up at your doorstep with outdated firmware, but some of you guys have purchased drones as more affordable options from sites like OfferUp and Facebook Marketplace, so it is important to check. Once your firmware is up to date, you can always be sure that your DJI Go app is too by navigating to the App Store or Google Play. Mistake number three, forgetting to attach your sticks. Now, this is a funny one because we didn't even think about this mistake until the other day when Hunter took off in a rush to grab a quick shot of the sunset. He had his remote in hand, device connected, and thought the controller was all set and ready to go, but he forgot to attach his sticks. It'll get you when you least expect it. Next mistake is taking off in an unstable area. Takeoff and landing should be on flat and level surface only. Before you set up your drone and unload all your equipment, look for areas where you can place your drone down safely because if it's not flat and level, you'll risk one of your propellers breaking during takeoff. In addition to taking off at an angle, beginner drone pilots always find a way to get dirt, rocks, and debris stuck in your gimbal, so having a landing pad to take off and land from can also be helpful. Next mistake on our list is disregarding airspace. Now that you're ready to fly, it's important to take a look at the current weather conditions and check where you can and can't fly. The airspace above us can be broken down into classes and identified by what goes on in that certain area. Class G airspace is uncontrolled airspace, meaning you don't have to get approval to fly in and it's where you'll spend the majority of your time. Once you get closer to things like airports or stadiums, you cross over into controlled airspace where you will need approval to fly. Getting approval is not as hard as it sounds, but if this is all new to you, I'd highly suggest doing some research into the drone laws in your area. Here in the United States, if you plan on making money with your drone or receiving any type of monetary compensation for your drone work, you will need a license. To learn more about what that entails, check out this video, which is a step-by-step -step guide to getting certified. Until then, you can use the DJI GeoZone website to check where you can and can't fly legally. And lastly, mistake number six on our list is not flying in beginner mode. Once you're ready to take off, hit that power button once and hold it to turn the drone on. We'll talk about it in a second, but using the beginner mode and avoid switching to any advanced settings as a novice is the best way to go. 
You can switch the settings to beginner mode by heading to the DJI Go app. Click on the three dots in the right hand corner. And once that menu opens, you can scroll down through the settings to beginner mode. Be sure to toggle that to on. This will do things like set your maximum radius, the maximum flight speed, and it reduces the remote controller's stick sensitivity. All great features for a beginner drone pilot. Another great feature is how it limits you from taking off until your drone has recorded its home point location to ensure that it will safely return to where you took off from if anything goes wrong during your first couple flights. That's it for the most common beginner mistakes that drone pilots make prior to takeoff. The next video in our series will go over what to watch out for during flight. We'll see you in the next video.